Hey, 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 good morning, everyone. This is Doug Campbell with Right Way Options, and this is the morning marker preparation video for July 18th, 2019. Well, I hope everyone had a great day yesterday. Um, obviously, the market was in a little bit of, had a little bit of a bearish tone, selling off a bit just in anticipation of some of these tech earnings that came out and certainly those ended up being a warranted concern after netflix reported and as you remember i i had mentioned netflix had warned warned that they were going to meet analysts miss anal, um, analyst estimates and certainly uh, they did do that yesterday creating some tension in the market pulling us back a little bit more and uh, the NASDAQ may be under a little bit of a pressure this morning um, as a result of that. So let's take a look at these indexes and see what the charts are telling us. See if there's any clues in here that we can make heads or tails of. So first off, we have a little bit of a, just a little bearish pattern here. Um, two little spinning top doji patterns and then selling. Um, you know, if you were just combine these two dojis into one candle, we essentially have an evening star pattern that has formed here on the diamonds. But we also continue to hold our upside trend. So we have, we have a little bit of you know, very, very short term look um, pullback concerns here um, in the market. But overall, our trend is still very, very strong here in the market. And I don't think the diamonds is really at risk of major failure until we start dropping below some of these price levels in here. So right now, diamonds them themselves looking pretty good. Remember, there's only blue sky above here in um, the diamonds. So watch that closely. We still could get some pullback this morning. And, and um, as of this moment, uh, Dow futures are indicated to open about 30 points lower. Now that's significantly off the overnight lows. The bulls have been trying to push this back up during the, uh, you know, kind of the, the window dressing that they put on the market every single morning. But as you can see, um, just a little slight um, concern here in the overall market and a little bit of down pressure. Now, please understand that that is not odd, particularly uh, when you consider just how much we have rallied from this low. You know, over the course of a couple of months, we rallied over 2,000 points here in the Dow. So a little bit of rest, a little bit of pullback, probably not out of the question anyway. And um, I wouldn't be overly concerned with this until we start really breaking down. However, the, the, the concern that is out there that we may be seeing some fear increase and we're likely to see volatility increase. And that is just because, you know, um, one of the warning companies, Netflix, um, has already reported there are a bunch of other companies that have warned that they are likely to miss um, analyst estimates. So th that that fear that may be welling up could make the price action a bit more challenging, a bit more volatile, something to consider as you plan your uh, day forward here. Let's take a look at the SPY, SPY. This was the hardest selling area yesterday, a lot of pressure here in the SPY. Um, if I were to draw my trend line across here, you can see we're still holding up relatively well. But one of the things we did do yesterday that's a little bit of a concern is we gave up this little price support right here, selling off through that level. Now, I think that's OK as long as we continue to hold on to these other price support levels around this trend. So as long as we can hang in there, I think we're going to be OK. But we will start having some concerns if we really start breaking down these support levels. And I think if we break down through here, we could see some real trouble starting to come in. Now, right now we're indicated just slightly lower this morning on the um, S&P 500, but not a significant move lower this morning, at least at this point. So I'm still going to call this in the in the bulls favor. The bulls still have the trend 
that they're holding on to, but it's starting to get just a little bit precarious if those bears continue to push us on down. Let's take a look at the cues. The cues I have probably the bigger concern in, and the cues might suffer just a bit this morning and that is because we have this breakout high and we didn't get that big extension of of this breakout like we did in the the diamonds and the spy so cues hanging around here there's that breakout high that we've been watching and this morning we are indicated to open right down on that area so if that holds i think we're going to be okay i think this overall trend would hold in here and we could bounce off of that and be just fine the concern will will occur i think for me anyway is if we were to fail below that level giving up this high and that could create a little bit of concern for the market um, if that were to occur. So let's keep a close eye on this. I can't tell you whether or not we are going to fail. I just say that there is a little pressure here um, with, the, with Netflix selling off so strongly this morning. And if there's some add-on selling to that, that could be a bit of a problem. Let's take a look at IWM. Now, IWM, <laughs> I got to tell you, has just been, it, it's so interesting how this thing has moved around. And IWM gave up this uptrend yesterday, uh, falling through that level, but still holding on to this level of support through here. So we dropped through the trend, holding on to support. And what's interesting this morning is IWM is trying to indicate itself higher this morning. So it's trying to open just a little bit bullish this morning trying to hold on to that level. So we'll have to wait and see. I think at this point, giving up this price support, and this would be the concern for me, once we break support, any rally back to test resistance would be suspect of a potential failure. So watch that closely in here. This may be the place to look for a short trade if you feel that like the market has been overpriced and we may see some downside move. So keep an eye on that. IWM struggling here just a little bit, giving us a little bit of pause. It may be even elevating fear uh, just a little tiny bit in the market. Let's take a look. Speaking of fear, let's take a look at the VIX. The VIX had a burst of fear coming in yesterday. And you guys know I've been talking about this downtrend in this chart. I think we're gonna be okay as long as we hold below that downtrend, but we do have a little bit of fear creeping into the market here. And uh, the gap down this morning, the Netflix earnings uh, may elevate this fear a bit more and I don't think we're gonna have too much problem until we break out up here maybe hold if we do that then there's going to be some problems coming in the market that's where we'll really start to get concerned but rising up into here testing these levels of resistance up here I don't see that as a real bad thing uh, just yet so watch that closely as that fear starts to come up just a little bit in the market let's take a look at t21 22 now t21 22 we had a that sell-off yesterday actually helped us a little bit here in t21 22 pulling us back down below this 50 um, area which puts us in this situation where we now have more upside potential than we do downside potential so um, this morning's pullback that we're seeing right now, if, if the market opens um, right where it's indicated now, we'll move down about 30 some points in the Dow. I'm suspecting the SPY and the Qs will also do the same, move down a little bit. We could pull but right back down into here and open up that door for um, that nice upside move um, here uh, relatively soon. So watch that closely. T2122 is giving us, um, well, maybe a better chance of moving up um, as we continue to sell off here. So watch that. Let's take a look at um, our economic calendar. And our economic calendar today has a couple of things that we'll have something to say about how the market opens. We have our jobless claims first thing here at 8.30 a.m. and then the Philly Fed Business Outlook Survey, which will be important to the market uh, this morning and does have the ability to move the market around. So let's keep an eye right here at 8.30 in the morning. Our current futures 
could get better, could get worse, depending on how these reports come out. And also remember, we have tons and tons of earnings. We'll talk about that in just a second. That's going to affect the market. So watch those two items there. We also have this EIA petroleum um, uh, not petroleum, but natural gas report. I would not expect that to move the market around at all today. We just have a slew of bond auctions and announcements. And then um, here toward the end of the day, we have the Fed balance sheet. I would not expect that to really move the market at all as well. So kind of keep that in mind. We have about 90 companies reporting earnings today. So we have a big slew of earnings coming out. We're gonna to have to watch pretty closely and see how that affects the overall market. So um, if um, you're holding into these companies, you know, it's gonna be really important as we move forward here that everyone is paying attention to these earnings reports. Um, you know, for example, Microsoft is reporting uh, the big tech behemoth is reporting earnings uh, this afternoon after the bell. So Microsoft, if it reports well, could recover that NASDAQ really well if it reports well. So we'll have to watch that pretty closely as some of these techs, and that's where the big concern is um, uh, amidst the, uh, the, the trade war and tariff situation, the techs uh, may struggle and their earnings reports. Let's see if Microsoft can overcome that today. IBM, IBM certainly over overcame that um, yesterday, um, reporting well, but you can see um, it's indicating lower here this morning. Um, investors not overly impressed with that report. And um, probably the more concerning area for me right now in the market, and I wanna bring this up as, as a topic, is what's going on in the transport. So if we take a look at IYT, IYT is the tra Dow Transportation ETF. And you can see we have been failing right along here. Anybody out there that kind of follows Dow theory, we're gonna have a very, very difficult time moving higher in the market if we cannot get these transports to start showing some bullish signs. And my concern is that we have failed and, and significantly failed right here at our downtrend line of the transports. You can see those failures as we've moved along this area. So we failed right there. And yesterday kind of giving up our little uptrend here as well. And the culprit in that was CSX. CSX reported earnings and oh my gosh, they missed terribly. So CSX, those railroads, um, showing uh, signs of suffering. It's going to be very, very difficult, I think, for um, those transports to improve if we start seeing earnings like that, and that could seriously affect the overall market. So think about that carefully, plan carefully as we move ahead. So with that, everyone, hey, I want to ask you for a favor. If this is the first time you've seen these videos, please, please click that subscribe button. And then that pop up comes up. Make sure you click that bell icon so you can be noticed, uh, notified every time I post one of these videos. You know, the purpose of these videos is not to provide you any prediction. There's no, I don't want to provide any hype or any idea that I can predict the market in any way, shape or form. What I want to do is show you a real competent way of looking at the charts and trying to decide how you want to approach the market for today. The concerns, the issues, the things that could be pressing on the market. So... Um, that's the purpose of these videos is not to provide any, any kind of that, well, I call it baloney when someone is predicting the direction of the market, um, because no one can do that. There's just too many factors, um, out there. You can put on a brave face and you can pump yourself up and make you think you can do it. But in all honesty, there's just too many factors to be able to actually predict the market. But what we can do is we can look at the price action of the chart. We can look at the patterns. We can look at the support, resistance, and trend. And we can get a pretty good idea of the story that the market is telling us. And right now, the story of the market is telling us is the bulls are still in control. But there is a slight bit of concern coming into the market. So let's watch those things closely and pay attention to that but let's not panic just yet um, thinking that the sky is falling 
So having said that, if you find these videos helpful, do me a favor, click that thumbs up button and also click uh, to leave a, a brief comment. Doesn't have to be much, heck, drop a smiley face. That's all it needs. And that helps those algorithms show these videos to more people so we can continue the growth of the channel, reaching more people to help them with their preparation for the day. And I believe, I can tell you for me in my career, trading now almost 15 years full time, it's this morning preparation that has helped me more than anything avoid the emotion of rushing and chasing and fear of missing out on all those different things that happen around the drama of the market open and um, helped me be stay grounded, disciplined to my rules and my plan. And if you find this helpful, please feel free to share this with any other friends and family as well. Um, share it on Facebook, share it on Twitter. Um, um, the more people that see this, I uh, hopefully will continue to grow this channel. Thank you to everyone who does leave those comments. You guys are awesome. I appreciate you so much. You can't even imagine. So let's talk about some charts that could be setting up for potential trades. And I'm going to start off with a pattern that, this morning that... Um, is one of my favorite shorting patterns if it develops here. Now this is Merck, as you can see, and Merck is, um, had a pretty rough sell-off here, dropping pretty sharply. One of my favorite shorting patterns is what we call a blue ice failure pattern. And that's where we drop through that 50-day moving average, rally back to resistance. And by the way, for those technical folks out there, you might see this as a, a bear flag flagging right into that moving average resistance here. And you can see our other moving averages are declining as well. Now that doesn't mean right at the 50 day moving average, this has to fail. And um, what we wanna make sure and do is wait for the actual failure. So what I mean by that is we wanna see that confirmation that sellers are coming in. It might be a bearish engulfing candle, it might be an evening star pattern, it might be a little bearish kicker, something along those lines. But we wanna see those sellers start to push on this to uh for that move and then this pattern would indicate then the next um a logical place of support is is right here in this price action but then if we drop on through there to the 200 day moving average so blue ice failure patterns in a uh, market that's starting to show a little bit of fear we might want to start keeping an eye on this kind of pattern and maybe checking this out for those potential trades and this is just one of those patterns that just works over and over and over. Really, really good to trade um, if you like those short uh, positions. Now beyond that, let's take a look at some bullish charts that continue to look very good um, set up. Take a look at OKTA. OKTA, there's that nice little tight consolidation as this is kind of grinding itself over to trend. We're gonna wanna watch this pretty closely for that next move that pops us out of this area. Watch that carefully, OKTA doing well and here's one of the things that i always uh, pay attention to if a stock fails here breaks its support the next thing it must do if it's going to get back in my good graces is recover and prove it can hold that support level and that's what this stock has done proved it could hold that rehold that support level move on higher breaking through resistance and now consolidating out here um, watch for that next move in that chart so pretty good looking chart we'll want to keep an eye on that i keep mentioning this kar and kar started up yesterday starting to show a little bit of a problem so this could certainly fail this area watch this closely um, if this turns around reverses itself um, this could come back up, but watch this carefully. This could fail here, and that would toss this right off of the watch list of a potential trade. And remember, guys, every one of these charts and, that I bring up here are just simply that. They are watch list stocks. They're not a recommendation to buy or sell anything. Take a look at Procter & Gamble. Procter & Gamble's held up really, really strong um, despite uh, what's going on in the market. Any rest, consolidation, or pullback to hold this trend would set up another 
another opportunity in this trade. I would be careful about not chasing this move right now, but let let that next entry come into the trade to maybe show up um, a, a nice potential entry. Take a look at this TPX. TPX moving up through this uh, nice little breakout resistance area, chopping around up here, holding this level, staying relatively strong in this chart. Watch this for that potential move higher. Um, another chart you might want to keep an eye on, and I think, I think it caught an upgrade today, is Apple. Apple breaking this downtrend. And it's been kind of chopping around here trying to hold this downtrend. Now, keep in mind, all of these charts, we have to pay attention to these earnings reports coming. But I think Apple received an upgrade today and is indicated to open just a tiny little bit higher. So if Apple were to be able to prove this as support and start moving on up there may be an opportunity here to pick up some pick up some money in apple prior to its earnings report just in that anticipation of an earnings result and you can see we are indicated slightly higher here this morning which certainly will also uh, give a little bit of help to the overall uh, nasdaq um, that is suffering from Netflix this morning. So with that, everyone, hey, I'm running out of time. I want to wish you all a great day. I want to wish you great results in your trading. And um, once again, please take that time to click that thumbs up button and leave a comment. You guys are awesome. I appreciate it very, very much. Have a great day. Wish you great profits. And we'll talk to you all bright and early Friday morning. Have a good one.